Need a quick idea for dinner tonight? How about my spicy pork? Bursting with flavor, I think you're gonna love it. Let's check it out. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram at Dolly's Corner. To the channel, you guys, I missed you. Let's try this spicy pork for tonight. You can do this with uh, pork, chicken, or steak. Anything you want to, any type of meat you want to use, it'll be delicious. I've already chopped up one onion, and I've chopped up, um, I think that was like eight cloves of garlic. And now I'm just going to chop up my spring onions, green onions, scallions, whatever you want to call it. It's good to do all your prep work ahead of time before you get to, before you get to cooking. And for a little extra heat, I have one little, this is the only pepper I had in the house, so... That's what I'm gonna use. This little um, habanero pepper over here. Cause it is a spicy dish. Use it at your own risk. I just got some pork chops. Some thin pork chops, I'm gonna slice those up. You can slice these pork chops up however thin or however thick you want them. I'm kinda doing them into slices. No, it doesn't really matter if they're the same or anything. Just kind of try to keep them the same size so that they can cook evenly. I'm just taking the meat off the bone right now. You guys, clean up as you go so it'll be easier for you. So I got my meat all prepped up. And when it comes to pork, I really like to soak it in vinegar and salt for a little bit. I just, I think it gets all of the bacteria out. If you don't have any vinegar, you can use um, uh, some kind of citrus, lime or um, lemon, and that'll do the trick along with the salt. Let that sit in there, rub it together a little bit, and then after that, rinse it all off. Okay, so I got the pork sit to the side, letting it um, do what it do. Now let's make our sauce to go in here. I'm just adding a teaspoon of salt. But you want to be careful with the salt because we're going to be using soy sauce and you know that has a lot of sodium. Uh, two teaspoons of fish sauce. I'm going to put um, the ingredients in the description. So if I miss something, don't worry. It'll be listed in the description below. Two tablespoons of um, rice vinegar. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. One tablespoon of sugar. Actually, I should have used two, but I used one. Two would be a little bit better. And two tablespoons of this. Um, oh, God, I cannot pronounce it. I can never pronounce it, but it's a um, Asian red pepper paste. You can find it in your um, local Asian store or you can order it online. It's really good. It's like a um, a sweet and tangy type taste to it. And they say it's spicy, but it's not spicy to me. So I don't know why they say it's spicy. Unless my mouth is just immune to spice now. But yeah, it's really good. As you can see, I'm almost out of it. I'm going to have to go back to the store. So two tablespoons of that. And you just want to blend that together really good. This is um five spice uh, Chinese seasoning. Just like a pinch of that, not too much of that. And then I'm going to add some um, red pepper flakes. You can use however much you want. I'm going to put about two tablespoons for me because I like heat. Now, you know, like I said, you pay attention to what type of heat you like because we also have that, that um, pepper that we want to add in there. So that scotch bonnet pepper, the habanero, you know, the little orange pepper I showed you. So be careful with the heat. Mix that thoroughly until it's dissolved.
So I've already put that stuff all over my um, pork and now I'm just going to throw it in this heated pan with a little bit of vegetable oil and get the stuff frying back. My meat and my onions and my sauce all together. You know, so good. You want to just keep stir frying it until the liquid becomes um, kind of evaporated. You don't want a lot of, you don't want it to be super uh, liquidy. It's just some words. But yeah, let the liquid evaporate. I'm just throwing in some onions. I mean, not onions. I'm sorry, that's shredded carrot that I had in my uh, fridge that I'm just trying to get rid of. An ideal vegetable would have been something green like bok choy or broccoli. It smells so good in here, y'all. So yeah, just keep stir frying it until it um, evaporates. And we're pretty much done here. So I'm throwing your green onions in now for some color and extra flavor. And it's ready. Now I'm just plating up. I have some uh, sliced cucumber here. The cucumber will is just a nice added freshness to this um, meat because the meat is real savory. And it's spicy. And I find that when you eat the cucumber on the side, it really it cools your mouth down. It complements it well. Now here I'm just adding some sesame seed for garnish. That's optional. Up close and personal picture. It is delicious, I'm telling you guys. Now that pork is so delicious over some rice. That's how I'm going to have it tomorrow. But tonight, I just had a taste for some ramen. So I just fixed some regular ramen noodles. Put me a little egg on the side. And I added the pork to that. Along with my cucumbers. I overcooked my eggs. That's not how I wanted my egg. I wanted my egg to be like um, a soft boiled egg. But anyway, it still, it's, it's still was absolutely delicious. Very tasty. But I wanted my, my egg to be. You know how the um, Asians do it. Like I think it's called a ramen egg. The yolk kind of still be. Um, it's kind of underdone. That's what I meant to do. But I left it in there too too long here i'm drizzling some sesame oil on top man when you drizzle that sesame oil on top of it it may like kick it up a notch it's so good i was waiting all day for these noodles so good if you guys try this let me know how how it came out here it is over some rice it tastes really good over rice but i think everything tastes good over rice don't you think Anyway, as always, I want to thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe. Later.